so very warm welcome once again to my youtube channel simulation engineer first of all i wish you a very happy new year i hope uh, you already uh, got um, or came into this new year very very well and um, i wish you everyone a very safe and um, healthy journey throughout this year so stay stay safe uh, with my best wishes so we will be starting today our uh, another tutorial uh, of this uh, numerical methods uh, using python series it will be about uh, maclaurin series so the maclaurin series is uh, is a taylor series expansion of a function about zero so it's kind of a um, approximation of function it's as usual as everyone knows um, if you have heard about taylor series this is normally it uh, it really uh, operates if you have a function and you will try to uh, um, approximate this function uh, and uh, as you increase the number of turns meaning this uh, number of n terms the solution will becoming much closer to the actual solution in the summation formation you can write this uh, maclaurin series in this form if you want to know or give, get into some more details uh, just visit this link i have mentioned i will also put it in the um, description so you can get it from there and the maclaurin series are type of a series expansion in which all your terms are non negative yeah this is something you have, you need to you need to uh, remember that it's all non negative integer powers of your variable so let's solve our function using maclaurin series um, for today's demonstration of video or tutorial i'll be using um, a function it's a simple function very common function so e to the power x so it's exponential of x and how we can solve that by using the maclaurin series so for this function there is a summation uh, which can be written e to the power x it can be written um, as we have seen uh, in the previous slide like this summation formation and um, in the end it comes out like this yeah if you keep on increasing the number of terms so you want to three four five six if you keep on increasing you'll be getting much closer to your actual solution and the error is becoming less uh, how we will achieve this we will be using uh, the numerical python libraries to solve this above function by implementing the maclaurin series before i demonstrate how we will implement there is a very important uh, point i would like to highlight here because of uh, the significance of uh, this set of blocks so if uh, double underscore name double underscore equals double underscore main it's very very useful for python programming it will also be used in this demonstration too so one can always use this set of block if you want to allow or prevent uh, certain blocks or parts of your card which is being run uh, when your when the modules are imported yeah when the python interpreter for example it reads a file then uh, this uh, this uh, name or this variable it is set as a main it sets as a main function so if the module being run or as the module's name if if it is imported yeah this is very very important and um, there is a great interesting article on uh, freecodecamp.org i will also put down the link in the description section if you are interested in uh, reading or going further on okay now we will move on to our demonstration how we will implement this maclaurin series using the numerical python libraries okay um, we have already seen in our slides how um, uh, how to implement and what uh, kind of maclaurin uh, is it maclaurin series is and we will be using our e to the power x exponential of x function and we will calculate it using the maclaurin series i'll be using uh, the jupyter notebook uh, environment in uh, visual studio code if you have not uh, if you have not seen my previous videos about uh, using of jupyter notebook in visual studio co code i will encourage you guys to go and have a look how it really operates it's like uh, operating just like a normal uh, jupyter notebook and visual studio code is um, really very powerful in uh, Uh, using a jupyter notebook uh, and uh, it, it's giving you a complete 100% environment so i'll be using this uh, jupyter server which is local here my python version is this one 
and uh, just for the sake of completeness i just has um, put some markdowns once again to just to repeat and to have it on your notebook because you don't have to then move to the slides and see okay what uh, is the function so this is really the function so step one is import your required libraries as always uh, we start with importing uh, numerical python so as a short name as np and uh, we'll be using standard um, e function and factorial as we can see in our formulation it's uh, available here x to the power n divided by the n factorial uh, and it's worth mentioning here that um, numpy can deal with all other functions like adding summation multiplication going through for loops um, they can be uh, vectorized very quickly without any problem but factorial uh, a normal standard factorial function it cannot be uh, done so you need to vectorize it so thankfully in uh, numerical python there is a method or a function which is called vectorize so this can uh, be used to vectorize our factorial formulation and in the end uh, we call this with the name of uh, factorize right so that uh, in the second step uh, when uh, we will be using or defining our function so we can then uh, use this variable after vectorizing the factorial term okay uh, then we will move on to the next step all right our uh, step number two is um, how to define this new function which is e to the power x and we will be comparing our actual and approximated value so the idea here is to um, calculate uh, the e to the power x uh, function by using Maclaurin series approximation and compare it with the actual values okay uh, what I have done here is I am um, using this uh, def command. You can define any function with this. So the function is called like e to the power x and it goes to x and terms 10. So you can define 5 terms, 6 terms. So I am saying so it goes up to number of times. So it is the, the n values, right? So it is this n number. So it goes from let's say from 0 till 9 or 10 terms. And then uh, we need to also use this. Uh, uh, n uh, number of terms uh, in an array form so I'll be using this np dot arrange format and this is uh, thanks to all this IntelliSense uh, options available uh, the moment you highlight any uh, function it will be giving you uh, small details about this uh, function and you can also uh, see how or what kind of uh, parameters are required so you can say it's uh, like starting and stopping and this parameter of arrange so how it really works and in the end there is also a set of examples available one could also uh, see on the fly and then uh, this function uh, will return at the end the summation so actually it will be returning this function so the summation of x to the power n divided by the n factorial remember we will we shouldn't we will be using our factorized form so which is this one we have used in the first step now once you factorize it and uh, then we'll be using the complete so the function uh, you will be putting in uh, some some value of x it could be two three four whatever and we'll be defining our number of turns so let's move on to the the last and the final step and check if the function is properly implemented all right guys so now we come into our step number three I think by by this time you already know the significance of uh, this set of block. I have uh, uh, explicitly shown you uh, one slide on that. If you really wanted to uh, uh, proceed or execute some particular part of your code um, and within some uh, set of blocks, so you can use this. It's very very handy. It's uh, it's kind of a common practice, and one should really get used to this uh, set of block. If you're working with Python so what we will be using is uh, we, we simply uh, execute this set of code within this so we will be printing our actual value with the standard um, e function from the standard library yeah that's why if you remember we have imported this uh, from the math library e function and the factorial and we have already vectorized it now we'll be using this exponential format from using the standard library and then we in the end we will be uh, comparing or calculating the error so number of terms and i just defined a table here with uh, n number of turns your mclaurin series values and in the end the error so we define the for loop 
for the number of times n we go from 1 to 14 so remember it always goes from 0 to so it will be about till 13 n and then we will define our Maclaurin uh, series or the Maclaurin function which we have defined it here so we will say we will calculate this for a value x of 2 a number of turns which is equals to n so and then we will be printing the values uh, with the um, a five uh, digit uh, accuracy after the decimal so you if you want you can change it to three or four or whatever and this is the way you calculate your error you have an actual value and then you have your Maclaurin values and uh, the code will show you the the errors so let's uh, execute this cell if you want you can uh, print it from here or if you want to uh, just calculate it from the keyboard the specific cell uh, just press control plus enter and the code will be executed we can see our actual value it's 7.389.05 to be precise it's really very long you can also say 7.390 so the, the code has looped or gone from 1 till 13 so we have seen in our Maclaurin series Maclaurin series formula or the equation uh, that uh, it, as you increase your number of terms so one two three and uh, with the combination of the division of this n factorial the error will be coming lesser and we can see uh, after about 13 number of terms or iterations we are getting almost zero error so there is no error after five decimals and uh, we can see uh, that by using the Maclaurin series which is which is kind of a Taylor series expansion of a function about zero one can really predict uh, a function really very accurately so uh, I think this is really about it from today's video session and uh, I would like you to also encourage you to test this Maclaurin series and try to implement it for your own on functions and uh, see how it really works and give me your feedback in the, in the comment section and uh, I encourage you guys to once again uh, please like my video subscribe if you have not done it uh, until now and share my channels among your friends and families and colleagues and once again uh, stay safe and take care I have a nice day bye bye